So for this project, I prepared two 10 by 20 canvases by painting them both blue and then before it was dry, taking some uh, water and going over it with a brush, then taking the Looking Glass Silver spray paint and spraying it with that. And then I went back and forth with the brush until I got the look that I wanted. I just wanted a little bit of a silver, silverly metallic look to the canvas. And then I let them dry for a couple hours. I actually did two 10 by 20 canvases for this project. Then I took Ashland Decorative Filler. It's crushed glass. Each contains 15.5 um, ounces. And I actually used three of those containers for the entire project. And then I got out some driftwood that I was going to use for the trunk of the Christmas trees that I'm making. And then I divided <clears throat> the three containers onto the canvases um, pretty much in half. So they used about 23 ounces each if you were to divide. So one and a half containers each because I used a total of three containers. And then I just kind of shaped them into a Christmas tree and um, as best that I could. Put down the driftwood for the trunks and I used some starfish for the stars at the top. Then I moved the first canvas over to the side. That's the one I'm going to use Mod Podge on. Mod Podge on. I got the sand and the shells ready and I used the gloss Mod Podge. What I did was I used I believe a third of a cup of Mod Podge to a third of a cup of water. So it's half and half. And I stirred it up for a couple of minutes. Yep, so it's come to two thirds. So it's a third and a third, I believe. And uh, then what I did was I slowly spooned it over the glass and I really saturated it. You want to really saturate it. I know it looks like it's impossible for it to hold the whole thing together, but it really does. And I just went ahead and saturated it. Don't worry about all the stuff that's leaking out. We'll take care of that as time goes. But just keep on saturating it as um, much as you can. I think by the time I was done, there was just a little bit left um, in the bottom of the container. And before I laid this down, I did not put any Mod Podge down ahead of time. So it's simply this that's holding it together, the... Um, half and half solution water Mod Podge. So I just kept on saturating it, going over the areas, making sure everything got the Mod Podge real good. And um, <clears throat> as the Mod Podge started leaking toward the bottom, I went ahead and put the sand down at the bottom, the first layer of sand. And then I just kind of continued to spread it around and then I started using a brush and pushed it around with that. And this, honestly, I probably spent about a, well, 15 minutes and then I started doing something else, but then I would keep on kind of going back to it as more would leak out. And you kind of have to push the glass back up into place. Some of it will move around. And um, I tried to saturate the sand real good before I put a second layer on. By the end, I used up almost all of the Mod Podge on the, the whole thing. And I just kept on moving it around, kind of shuffling it off the side of the, or the end of the canvas. I decided not to use full strength Mod Podge because I tried it like that and it didn't turn out as nice as this. You could actually still see the white after it dried in the crushed glass. And I stuck a few small shells on top of the sand and anchored them down by putting some Mod Podge under it and on top of it. And then at the last minute I decided to use some tiny seashells to put on as little ornaments for the Christmas tree. Wherever I would add a shell, like on the sand or on the Christmas tree, I would put a little dab of the Mod Podge over that just so that it would make sure that it would stick. And then I continued to mess around with it, just kept on painting it on there. And then I was done with that, and I was going on to the next Christmas tree. And this one I'm going to do with resin. 
And I always forget to put the cups down. If you can remember to put the cups down before you put the glass down, you're less likely to have the glass shift around. Next, I put the tiny seashells on the Christmas tree, and then I get ready to use the resin. The resin that I'm using in this project is called Dr. Crafty. I uh, purchased it on Amazon. I'll put the link below. It's a low odor resin, and I've used many different resins on Amazon, and all of them are basically the same. They're one-to-one -one ratio resins, <clears throat> equal amounts of the resin to the hardener. I always wear gloves. I always use a respirator. It's in your best interest to use a respirator and do it in a well-ventilated area. Hardener in the same cup. You mix it together for two to three minutes. You mix it slowly, being sure to scrape the bottom and the sides. When you first pour them together, you'll notice they look clear. As you begin to mix them, it becomes cloudy and once they're all mixed properly, it'll become clear again. You'll notice I keep going over to the Mod Podge project and I'll, I'll brush it out a little bit every once in a while. And the resin's ready to pour on now, so I use the spoon and kind of divvy it up over the glass first to make sure I saturate that real well. And then I put it on the bottom and then put the sand on top of that and then I begin to spread it around the rest of the canvas. I use a spoon and then I use my finger to spread it around. And I'm not really sure which is the best way to do it. They do have different tools that you can use also to spread the, the resin on. Some people say that you don't need that much resin and it doesn't need to be spilling all over the sides, but um, sometimes I have some difficulty with the coverage of it. I'm used to using resin on glass and using it on canvas is kind of new to me. This is the heat gun that I would normally use. I did not need to use it because I did not see any bubbles. And I don't know if that has to do with the resin or what because um, when I was mixing it you could see the bubbles but they seemed to dissipate all on their own. My heat gun and most heat guns have two settings, low and high. I keep it mine at the low setting so that it doesn't blow the resin around too much, but it's, it's sufficient enough to get rid of the bubbles. And then on the other side is the temperature setting, and I always set it to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, they need to dry overnight on a level surface at temperatures between 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. The Mod Podge project I let dry overnight also. Hey everyone, so you saw me making these and they turned out real cute. This one is the Mod Podge one. And um, I'm gonna kind of bring it close to the camera and can you see the stones or the glasses glistening? So it turned out real shiny and this, um, really has a nice little shine to it. And I'm just gonna show you how sturdy that is on there. And that's with Mod Podge. So for those of you who don't wanna mess around with resin, honestly, this is a nice even coat. It's not showing any brush marks at all. And it really, really turned out nice, I think. So this is the resin one, which turned out equally as nice. Um, I think there are a few low spots, and like I said before, I'm really not used to working on canvas. I've always done resin on glass, and so this is kind of new because it can run off. And with the glass, it has the frame around it for a ledge, so it kind of has to level out. So now the... the um, canvases that I've been getting are the thin ones so these are not real expensive canvases so I don't know if I got more expensive canvases if it's their taunter and then they would um, it would not be so uneven on it and the resin would um, do better I don't know but um, it still turned out pretty and it may be a tiny bit shinier than the Mod Podge. Let me hold them up side by side. But really, 
not that much of a difference. So, I don't know. You guys will have to decide. For those of you who don't want to work with resin, uh, this, like I said, it's a tiny bit shinier, but really not that much of a difference. And this is on here solid. The one with the Mod Podge is really on there solid. So I did a couple more of these in a video, and um, that's going to be the next video. And it has some, I had some big problems with the resin, and I'll show you what I did to resolve that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you try one or the other. I think they really turned out cute. Christmas is right around the corner. Have a nice day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe. Hit the bell and you'll be notified when I come out with a new video. I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of them over the next couple months because of Christmas coming up. Thanks for watching.